The crazy thing is that we're talking rain, not snow. This is uh, a week or so away from Christmas. And if this liquid had some cold air to go with it, two to three feet of snow would have fallen over the course of this storm. No, not going to happen. It is a warm sector storm bringing warmer air from the south and going to create nothing but rain. Current temperatures in the low 50s in New Jersey to the upper to low 50s in the boroughs, mid 40s, Westchester 51. Islip, come on now, you're at 51. Our highs today will not occur until almost midnight, and the temperature could be 60 degrees. It occurs at midnight without the sun. Think about that. It's all because of warm air evection. That south wind with that low bringing the warmer air up from Miami. Tracking rain and wind. Now, no real rain unless you go way over to the Montauk or the Hamptons. But the area of low pressure that is going to ride the seaboard is going to take some time getting here. That's a great deal of moisture. And it's going to work with a lot of moisture over the Atlantic. And that's why we're going to see a lot of rain, not so much because of the front to the west of us. I would keep the umbrella at the ready starting now if you're heading out. I cannot rule out drops hitting you between now and 5 p.m. What I will say to you is this. Just like last week, I stood here and I said, you know, they're talking about whatever the amount of rain they're saying. I'm saying but the likelihood is the heaviest rain again will occur after 11 o'clock tonight overnight into the morning hours. So while there's chances of some good downpours through the afternoon evening hours, the biggest stuff is not going to get here until overnight. So between 5 to 10, you better have the umbrella at the ready because there's rain coming down. The question is how much rain is going to occur between now and 10 p.m. Could be a half inch, could be three quarters of an inch, uh, but the bigger rain gets here after midnight. And when I come back, I'll show you that, but the national, or I'll show it to you now, the National Weather Service says, keep in mind, they've got a flood watch in place because they believe three to five inches north and west of the city, two to three inches close in Jersey towards the boroughs. That is possible. The winds are guaranteed not picking up until after midnight. Southeast wind, say by 10 p.m., 10 to 15, we can handle that. That won't take any power lines or trees down. You will see power lines and trees going down when the winds pick up to sustain 25 to 30, gusting up to 60, and that happens tomorrow. The low is right on top of us. It's over the Atlantic. It's bringing all that moisture over us, and this is at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Public transportation definitely need it on Monday morning because tomorrow morning, that's going to just be a disaster for the commute. I would definitely take public transportation. As early as 9, 10 in the morning, it starts to back off, and then the low is out of here, and it's going to be dry by 10 p.m. This total for the entire storm, the RPM model is painting two and a half. I said to you yesterday, this model was saying five inches. I said, that seems crazy. It's backing off. But again, these totals could be a little skewed because it's just about the trajectory of the low. If it gets in the right place, we could pick up more rain in this. Just have to wait and see. Guaranteed again, the wind's gusting up to 50. If not more than that, take down some power lines and trees. Tuesday, okay, we're dry, and then much colder air is in the forecast. Temperatures in the 20s for wind chills with maybe a flake possible, not a big deal. But on Wednesday, yeah, even colder. We'll have a wind chill of 15 Wednesday morning. So enjoy the 60 degrees today, guys. Big time rain possible overnight to the morning hours. I'll be back here at 5, 6, and 10 p.m. with John to look at that, Kirsten. Back to you. Now. All right.